Cool, checking out this roof here in uh, Rand Park Ridge. So, first thing, barge board. This timber here is completely rotten. Second thing you'll notice, a lot of rust on this flat part here. Uh, and then that flashing is no good. There's even foam in there, so someone's foamed this up. So, yeah, I'd want to sort that out definitely. So, different flashing plan here. Um, this valley. So you got this tree here dumping things on the roof. There's already foliage collecting here. This needs to be cut bigger so that everything can run away instead of collecting. Um, this is not ideal. So it's a broken tile. There's some kind of tape on here. Oh, it's just perished membrane. It's actually better to just open it up so the water can run down the the gap. Um, yeah, so that needs to be sorted out. There's another valley there that'll need attention. That's probably the leak in the kitchen. It's most likely coming from here. Uh, yeah, it looks like much of the same on the other roofs. So now this is a problem. Because this roof, uh, firstly, is a lot of rust. And then the waterproofing there is not ideal. The, the joint looks very short. So my solution here would be to do a board and torch. Um, you put down boards and you put on torch on, over the boards. Uh, so that you create one seamless membrane for the water to run off. Because right now there's a, lot of, there's a lot of things happening there. You'd have to take off a line of tiles here. And literally put a flashing to bring the boards up from high up so that uh, so that you have a runoff from like the first brand ring so it creates a flashing onto the roof so you don't have a problem on that joint and you do something similar here okay so this is the bottom end of the roof you can see the plaster there is loose it's definitely um, a lot of movement expansion contraction and then the edges fail there so uh, yeah there's too much movement on this roof